this is Dale and Jason with ATC. Jason's our category manager. I'm the director of marketing, and we're excited to show you our Play 450, the 2011. So Jason, take it away. Show us a little about this awesome new floor concept. Yeah, so we came out with this new Play 450 series, mm -hmm. and what it is, it's a, a smaller toy hauler that can be towed by a half-ton pickup or a large SUV. A lot of our customers were asking for this, something smaller, because for so long we've concentrated on the larger toy haulers that can haul even the biggest toys like a four-door Jeep. Well, these 450 series are smaller footprint. These, both of these models have to be a 20 foot long box, seven and a half wide. Yeah. And why we went with the seven and a half wide Dale is because uh, for easy maneuverability and towing. For example, you don't have to go out and buy the aftermarket mirrors to put on your truck or your SUV. You can use the standard mirrors on your truck and be able to see and maneuver easily. Yeah, I get very excited about this. I have a bigger SUV and I don't have to add the bigger mirrors. I don't have some big toys, but I got bikes and things like that. So I totally picture like, man, this is a great size that I can tow easily with that and then take some of my regular camping stuff. So yeah, yeah it's exciting size and we've kind of had we, we came out with some really small ones with the new 50 series at last year. Um, and then everything else we had is big fifth wheels, big, they haul the biggest, craziest toys. Mm -hmm. um, and so now we're kind of, we're filling in that gap in the middle and this is an exciting new product. Yeah, so. and the best part about this 450 series, Dale, is even though it's a smaller footprint, mm -hmm. um, we didn't sacrifice any of our core advantages. Yeah. We still have our five C's. Yep, uh, first one being construction. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, so it's still the all aluminum construction, no wood, and we're still giving the 10 year structural mm -hmm. warranty on even the 450 series. Yeah, it, it, I know people you hear smaller, you're getting less, whatever that is, but we still have a 10 year warranty on this crazy thing. So the construction is completely welded tube aluminum, not buying somebody else's frame. It's built right here from the ground up on our line. Mm -hmm. um, the, the next thing we hit is capacity. What, what's, mm -hmm. why, how is that one of our five C's? Yeah, so both the models, this 2011 and the 2016, both of them weigh dry weight right around 5,000 pounds, depending on how you option them out. Um, and they have 7,700 GVWR. So you got around 2,700 pounds of carrying capacity. Yeah, when we go inside, we'll, we'll get some of the other C's, the configuration, this thing, you can change it all around. It's mm -hmm. super cool with that. And then the cleaning, same as other ones, you can hose this thing out. And then the cost too. Mm -hmm. And um, again, we already mentioned the 10 year warranty, but this is gonna be one of those units that, man, it's gonna last you a lifetime. You're gonna be able to trade it in if you do end up getting a huge toilet that doesn't fit or something. Um, you still have that value there. And um, that's just been our historical thing that, man, they hold their value. You can trade up to something bigger. We've, we've got multiple customers that they're on their third or fourth ATC only because they got a, just a huge toy or they just wanted the biggest new floor plan we came out with. So mm -hmm. look forward to showing us more. Do you want to show us a little bit in the front here? Yeah, so just like in our 700 series, we have the large A-frame storage area. Um, you can put in a, your portable generator, your campfire wood, uh, your barbecue gear, whatever you want to store in the front A-frame. You got your two 20-pound LP bottles. This one does have the optional power tongue jack. And something I'm really excited about, Dale, is our large storage area. For a unit this size, you get a huge uh, pass-through storage area in the front. You'll see our batteries in there. Something else, Dale, you may ask, you know we have the three levels of energy packages, right? Yep, yep, we have so, three different sizes. Yep. Um, so we are carrying that over to this 450 series. You get the standard energy package 1000, comes with a 200 watt solar panel, a Battleborn 100 amp lithium battery, and then you have your two packages above that, the energy package 2000 and 3000. If you want to learn more about those packages, Dale, where do you look? Yeah, check on our website. We're going to keep all those details up to date and that kind of thing. So that's always kind of the Bible for where our information is. I can't, I can't be here in the front and not just brag on our doors it's been something for years but we don't buy the cheap rv doors that you see in this stuff it's a solid aluminum frame door solid piano hinge and so just built again to last the life of the trailer and the doors are built in here at atc yep all right jason we moved down the side we already talked about capacity so we're at the axles what's unique about this why do we do it this way so we're using the torsion axles and we spread them apart and the reason we do that it gets uh, you get better stability especially in a toy hauler because you may have varying weights depending on what size, what kind of toy you put in it. But also it just gives you safer towing overall. It just balances your weight better. Something else you can't see necessarily underneath. We are doing the enclosed underbelly mm. on these 450 series. Yep. Um, 
We have a 50 gallon fresh tank that's set right in between the axles, so all that weight from the fresh tank is right there, so good stability. We have a 45 gallon gray tank and a 45 gallon black tank. Yeah, a lot of water for a unit this size, but again, just the towability, that's what everybody raves about with our units. By spreading that axle, it keeps it from either having too much tongue weight, not a tongue, enough tongue weight, and helps spread that load through the trailer versus on your truck, and you'll see it tows excellent. Yeah. Some other things we want to point out here on while we're on the exterior is we do use the dual pane frameless windows on the 450 series. We also have the 16 foot long awning. Um, it's a power awning, 12 volt power, power awning, awning yeah, super Thanks, simple. Though. All right, so we've moved inside. We've, we're gonna talk about configuration a bit. Explain, this is a little bit different floor plan than the 2016. What's unique to this one and who's yeah. asleep, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, great question. So the 2011 model is more set up for the family. Mm. It has uh, bunk beds in the front and you can get the optional queen size uh, happy jack in the rear so yeah. you could sleep four people easily. Um, and you still have the full amenities in this. Um, the, you got the bunk beds up front, then your wet bath, and then immediately into your kitchen area. And this has the full amenities in the kitchen. It has this uh, refrigerator uh, that Dale loves. Why do you love it, Dale? Yeah, it's very cool. So if you're sitting near where Jason is, if you happen to be working in the kitchen, you can open it from this side. But then, nice thing, if you got kids in the back or somebody coming from the other side, you can open from the other side. So both doors open from either side. So to, to me, that's pretty cool. Just mm -hmm. convenient so you don't have to walk around each other or figure which way do you want your door to be set. It goes both ways. Yeah, and it is a 12 volt refrigerator. So along with your fridge, you do have the two burner cooktop. That's a flush mount. So you have all this countertop to space to use when you're not using the cooktop. It has a single bowl sink with a high spout pull out sprayer faucet. And then you got a lot of storage for this size of unit. Yeah. You have all these upper cabinets. Um, you have the lower cabinets. You have the convection microwave. Yep. So like I said, the full amenities in a smaller footprint. Yeah, it's a nice, you get that L base. It really feels like a real kitchen and it's still a pretty small size toy hauler. So, mm -hmm. All right, I'm standing inside the wet bath of these uh, Play 450s. It's actually a lot of space. I'm not a small guy. 6'2", bigger guy, and so there's plenty of room. The wet bath means that the toilet's also in here, so it's an all-purpose all room. It's got a nice fan, nice shower head, and it's got a nice little ledge that I can put my soaps on, shampoos or whatever. But again, plenty of space. Dale, in the 2011 model, everything behind the refrigerator is our configurable area. Yeah, and wherever you see this life track, the ATC life track, that means I can move it, put it where I want. Um, so yeah, explain that. We know the furniture, the dinette, cabinets, what. Yeah, so it comes standard with a 72 inch sleeper sofa. And then beyond that, everything else is optional. You can configure it any way you want. Now in this unit, we wanted to show how a full dinette looks in here. This is mm. a four person seating dinette. And you can see it does take up a lot of the area. This does fold up out of the way when you have your toy in here, mm -hmm. but you don't have to get this piece. You can get a, uh, a smaller table that's more designed for two. That's maybe half this depth. And that comes in various, various widths. Yeah. So. And again, uh, you could, if you wanted the smaller one or whatever, you could put it up here, turn your couch, put it over there. Again, the nice thing is you're not stuck. This can move in, take it out. If you need a lot of space one weekend, literally take all this stuff out and put mm -hmm. whatever toy you want to fit and, in here. And even the optional 12 volt TV, which is a smart TV and the Bluetooth portable speaker fastened to the track and they can also move anywhere along the track. Yeah. And you might think, well, how can you do that with a TV, right, Dale? They got to plug in. Well, all along up here in uh, what we call our cove between our wall and a ceiling, mm -hmm. we have several um, plug-ins for a 12 volt operation. So that's all running off the lithium batteries with a solar charger, all that kind of stuff. So yep. pretty much don't even need a gen in any of those scenarios. Right. Yeah, that's awesome. So Jason, we are in our prototype, which is exciting to do this in our, our factory here, but um, this deck is awesome. I wish we were sitting out on the lake looking out and stuff. Explain this patio package. I know I've seen a similar one for our, like our, our big units, but. Yeah, so what I really like about these freestanding folding chairs is yeah. you can move them out here from the deck. Yeah. Move them out here to the deck. You can sit down, enjoy the sunset, or go fishing if you're near a lake right off your patio deck. But this is, if you guys are familiar with our 700 series, we yep. have this patio deck option which includes the railing, which is a black anodized aluminum. It's not the fabric like most of them have. Comes with the aluminum entry steps, 
Um, and this rear vinyl screen is all part of the patio deck package. Yeah, that'll drop down, keep that air conditioned or heat or whatever, but that you can step out here or keep the bugs out if you're doing that. Mm -hmm. The cool thing too, if you got the little furry friends, the dogs or whatever, or our little grandchildren, you can knock that out, keep them safe in here, and uh, they're not gonna fall off the side. So it's a, it's a really slick setup. This step just actually pulls up and off, take it, throw it in the unit, and then mm -hmm. pack it up and go. Yeah. Where do, where do you store all this stuff? Uh, so that's a good question. The gate, the gate comes off and it's, it's fastened on with a Jeep style pin and you just store that in your front storage compartment or okay. you can actually even lay it on the floor because of our torsion axles. Not a lot of our stuff moves around in the trailer even during transport. Um, and then the rest of this railing just folds up and maybe takes up like six to eight inches just inside the rear ramp door when the ramp door is shut. So you just unclick these latches around the sides and then it folds, basically all folds inside. So yeah. Perfect. So thank you for joining us today as we did our walkthrough of our prototype 2011 450 series play model. Um, just so you know, again, this is a prototype, so we have made some improvements that you'll see in the production units. But if you want to learn more, please visit our website at atctrailers.com or visit your local dealer. Yeah, these will be hitting the dealer's lots very soon. We're going to keep as much information as possible on the website, so that's kind of the Bible to check it out. But you got to put your hands on one, see it in person. You're going to love it. So we look forward to hearing your comments on it.